All right. Um, I bought a boat a couple of weeks ago with a 1960 Johnson 75 horsepower. Uh, a V4S is what they call it. I fired it up, it started right up, but uh, it was a hard start and uh, didn't really have the pep it should have. You know, it really should sound like a two stroke, you know, revving out a little bit. And it just didn't, you know, it ran. So I replaced the water pump impeller just for peace of mind. Um, I adjusted my car back to factory settings, you know, uh, I think it was a turning a quarter out of a light seat on the slow speed and three quarters of a turn on the high speed. I synced the carb and the linkage, checked the timing and the points. Um, I made some adjustments. I, I was confident it was going to run a little better. Fired it up, same exact thing, didn't run better. Started up, but it was a hard start. Had a little trouble catching on. Um, I uh, didn't see what I was hoping to see as far as um, the thermostat goes. They say out of the bypass I should see a noticeable spurt, a uh, noticeable increase of water at about, you know, when the thermostat opens at 130 degrees. I never saw a noticeable spurt. I do have a videotape, but it wasn't real interesting, so I'm not going to post it, but I didn't see any spurt. Uh, I did notice some water pooling up down there. I noticed there's a quarter 20 bolt backed out of this plate right here. Um, I don't know if this motor could survive that kind of work. Who knows if, you know, the bolts come out or they don't. It might be something I could live with uh, for a season. I took apart the carb. I have a fuel pump rebuild kit. I'm going to take care of that too. Um, the carb didn't inspire confidence really. Pretty dirty on the inside. I don't think these, uh, I don't know if the valves, the needles are seating well. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. This cork float. It floats, but it's cork. I figured it would, even if it's bad. Um, looks like there's something on it, shellac or something. I don't really know. I'd like to replace it with something a little more modern, I guess. Um, the carb rebuild kit was on back order, and it was kind of pricey, too. So I didn't get it, but I did buy a seat. And um, I was going to clean it up a little and replace the seat, put it back on. I'm not sure about this now, though. Looking for some advice, some tips. Uh, as far as um, do I need to spend 60, 70 bucks on a carb rebuild kit for a couple of gaskets and an O-ring? I don't know. I don't know if these things look good or not. But uh, it's a pretty simple carb. I think if I clean it up, replace the seat, and maybe make sure this floats good, um, I should be all right. Uh, the cooling system, I don't know about this. I guess I can see if the bolts come off. I guess I'll order a thermostat. I don't know. I'm really looking for some advice, some tips. Uh, anything would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.